This is Kudadad Khan, a young man who is nervous and scared. He is on his way to the war and already all he can think about is returning to his wife and son. They're from a small village called Dab in British India, which you might now know as Pakistan. But at this point, he's not sure he'll return at all. Khan is about to see combat for the first time. In what is now known as the First Battle of Ypres, the Germans launch a major offensive attack. Khan's 129th Baluchis regiment are rushed to the front line to aid the British troops as the Germans press further and further forward. Kududad's team are overwhelmed and outnumbered, but as the Baluchis casualties mount up, Khan's gun is one of two that manages to keep the Germans from making the final breakthrough. The last man standing is injured and exhausted. Suddenly. Silence falls as darkness fills the sky. The Germans retreat back to their camps, making sure there are no survivors along the way. Bleeding out and pretending to be dead, Kududad preserves the little strength he has left. Waiting for night cover to make his escape, he crawls through pools of water, dirt, and even his fallen comrades not to mention the hundreds of meters of barbed wire and fencing. He makes it back to his regiment where they attend to his wounds. As he begins to recover, Khan is shipped back to England to receive proper care away from the brutal Western Front. A car leaves Buckingham Palace with someone extremely important inside. They are on their way to see Kududan. It is the king himself. For his courage and gallantry, Kududan Khan becomes the first Indian to be awarded the Victoria Cross. <laughs> 